Ooh. Welcome back to Midday. Writing is something that is near and dear to my heart. I do writing for the station, uh, normally when I'm not filling in on Midday. And today, we have Dr. Robert and Alma Schemenauer, and they're here to talk to us about an award that's being presented uh, a little bit later this year. Welcome. Thank Happy you. Happy to Thank have you. you both here. Nice. nice to be here. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about this award and what's coming up. Well, there are two categories for the award. One is writing with an, showing an appreciation of nature. Okay. The other one is writing about Kamloops ah. and hopefully being very positive about Kamloops. Now, the writing can be of any format. It can be poetry, short story, uh, article, whatever. Okay. So what constitutes a short story? <laughs> what kind of a length are you seeing here? Because you don't want novels handed in. <laughs> Uh, well, no, you could, I think if you were going to do a novel, put in a novel, you might want to put in like the first chapter or something, ah, not, not, the whole, not the whole novel. Yes. Because we want something that can eventually be uh, shared with the, with the media. The winners are, get a, a press release. So this can be shared with the media, but I don't think the media, you being one of them, <laughs> or would like to get a novel. Going to read and, it and well, try to... I might, but other people in the media may not. Right, I'd, right. I'd be happy to find a novel show up. <laughs> <laughs> and who's eligible to enter this contest? Well, it's really it's open to members of the Interior Authors Group, which is a group of about 35 writers uh, in the city and area. Okay. And I think it's important to say that the reason that the awards got going is uh, we moved here about 11 years ago mm -hmm. and the interior authors were really uh, welcoming to Elma who's had a career in writing and editing and we wanted to give something back mm -hmm. uh, to the group and so we thought why not create some awards that the group members could apply for on an annual basis Absolutely. but also try to encourage the other writers in the community to maybe join the group and be part of a sort of a mentoring and critique sort of process yes. uh, in their writing. And what a great way to become involved and to say thank you and to give back. We mm -hmm. were talking just before about how writing is a muscle and mm -hmm. you have to work it just mm -hmm. like any other muscle. And yes. what, what a great way to get involved and do mm -hmm. that. Um, so then do you also get the joy of reading the submissions and uh, Well, going the submissions them? come uh, to Bob, Robert. Okay. And uh, we have sort of taken the approach that the judging is going to be anonymous, and uh, we try to find people, but they don't have to be in Kamloops. They can be somebody oh. like yourself in Kamloops, but they can be somebody in Toronto where we worked for a long time, or okay. Elma knows uh, writers and editors everywhere, really. Yeah. So it's sort of an anonymous group that does the judging. So, and as long as you are part of the Interior Writers Group, you... Authors Group. Authors Group, sorry. Mm -hmm. Authors Group. Mm -hmm. Then you can enter this contest. So That's how do you right. become right. a part of the group then? Well, uh, you can go online to Interior Authors Group and you can find the information there. It's $35 a year, okay. although you can attend two meetings free. And then by the third meeting, we really kind of put the screws to you and, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and uh, suggest that you join. Okay. So this uh, award is not sponsored by the Interior Authors Group. Yes. It's, it's our award that we're doing, but uh, we put that um, condition on it that they have to be a member of the Interior Authors Great. Group. Very clever. <laughs> 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 and who can join? Is there an age limit? Is there a recommended uh, no. age cap for that? No, it's anybody who's interested. Okay. In, interested in writing, editing, uh, illustration even of, of books and oh. that kind of thing uh, or publishing in general anybody who's interested can join great yes. tell us a little bit about last year's winners I went onto your website which is fantastic you can visit um, Elma's dot Wix site w i x s i t e dot com slash awards and I believe it'll be up on the screen as well mm -hmm. fantastic yeah. site and you're able to see last year's winners and I enjoyed reading yes. their submissions as well can you tell us a little bit about last year's winners well uh, we had a lot of good uh, submissions but the the winner of the one with the Kamloops uh, category in mm -hmm. the cate Kamloops category was Janet Miller uh, of Kamloops and uh, she wrote a lovely poem and uh, so that's on the website you and can it's read a special shape it's a poem. special shape i've yes. forgotten exactly what it's called now but it was taught to her by, <laughs> by richard wagamese you know okay. a local author yep. he was teaching uh, 
workshop on that kind of writing and on that kind of poetry. It's shaped like this. Yeah, it was shaped like a diamond. Yes, yeah. yes, that's right. So she was the winner of that award. And the other winner, do you want to tell about? You go ahead. Uh, the other one was uh, Virginia Laveau of Barrier. Mm -hmm. And she wrote uh, Recollections, no, yeah. Meditations of a Fawn. A mule Deer. Of a Mule, a mule Deer. deer Meditations yes. of a Mule Deer. And uh, that one's a very good one, too. It was, and I mm -hmm. thought, oh, that would probably be eligible, something like that for this year's as well, about being out in nature and what she saw mm -hmm. and experienced. So, mm -hmm. yes. Fantastic. So if you would like to get an idea of something sort of like what you guys are looking for, you can also go on there and visit and take a look. Deadlines for submissions, March 21st? Yes. You want to talk about that? Uh, the submissions have to be in by the 21st of March. The decision is made in June. Okay. And then uh, the group has a summer social, sort of late June, early July, and so that's when the announcement's made Great. of the winners. And uh, the winners get a cash award, as well as what Elma mentioned before. And for each award, there's also uh, a donation made to the IAG itself for its educational and outreach uh, purposes. Fantastic. So many benefits with this. Thank you so much for giving up mm -hmm. yourselves, your your time and the incentives and everything to get people writing and to give back to Kamloops. We appreciate mm -hmm. it so much. Thank you, Katie. Um, please enter. <laughs> yes, please enter. The information is up on the screen how you can do that. It's very easy and uh, a very worthwhile thing to do. Thank you so much for coming mm -hmm. on the show. Thank you. We'll be back shortly with more Midday.